Done with this. Now we have to choose between Russell and Bonnie. Um, I think I'll choose Russell because it seems like that's the next one we're supposed to pick. If you've been following the story so far, it seems to go in some kind of chronological order in that same area as things happen. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, this one's a little bit before the last one. I believe Shell was 200 and something days in, so this is a little bit before that. Uh, as you see, the graphics have improved. I was playing in a low resolution, I didn't even know. So this is uh, at 1080 now. I've been walking forever. Like 60 miles left, I think. Ain't shit. And even though these sh stories feel pretty short, I, I like them because it gives a little perspective on, you know, different lives that are happening during this time. Hey! You getting up? Good. See anything weird? I'm running my ass off. Bang! I just killed you. You're either stupid as fuck or you think you're tough shit. Or both, I guess. I don't want no trouble. Please. Standing out here like this ain't gonna get you nothing but trouble. Just leave me alone, please. I'm not hurting no one. How do I know that? Maybe you're just walking this highway looking for some tail. You're gonna end up hurting somebody. Maybe killing you right now does our troubled country some good. But honestly, I ain't no do-gooder. I'm gonna let you live. Okay. So you have some balls on you just standing there like that. You get killed eventually. Ain't none of my business. I won't. What's your name? Russell. So you didn't steal that bag. I don't care who you steal from, if you did. Maybe you're in a gang that likes to rob people. I don't know. Are you in a crew? You got some boys wearing hoodies I gotta worry about? Because you steal from me and I'll get your throat out. I don't care who you run around with, you understand? I'm not in a gang. It's fucking racist, man. Hey, now, I ain't no racist. I just call them like I see them. Just get in the car. You're gonna get eaten out here otherwise, and I'm bored. Come on. Scoot. Ain't gonna wait forever. Fine. Fuck. See if I give a shit. You take me to Statesboro? I'm trying to get to my grand's house. Fuck, she likes to party? Just get in. We'll get there. Or somewhere. Eventually. I think this is the car that chases the Shaggy and Scooby down. Name's Nate, by the way. Thanks for asking. You thirsty? Uh. Here you go. I'm straight, thanks. You're not uptight, are you? This is the fucking apocalypse. This is like nothing. No, I'm just good, all right. All right, all right. You want to tell me about where you come from, at least? Must have been with a crew. Any tail back where you come from? Maybe drop you off and do a double back. Can we just drive? We? Oui. You want to sit on my lap? I just don't want to talk. 
You're a tough little nut, Russ. Sorry if I freaked you out at first. We all got our way of coping with shit, right? I guess I can come across a bit... Ah, whatever. I guess. There you go. Relax. We're gonna have some fun. Why don't you tell me where you were before you got here? Fine. There were seven of us. I didn't have any family there or nothing. They were all at my grand's down in Statesboro. There was a dad who had a daughter about my age. One guy said he used to be a cop, but nobody really believed him. Then a teacher and his wife. The leader was this guy, Steve. Go back to the daughter. Steve was a bad dude, but everybody was with him, you know? He said seven was the magic number, so we didn't add nobody to the group. If we found survivors, it was the same every time. He... He... Let it out, Paco. Just... We gonna kill these folks and take this stuff or what? Then bang! They'd be dead! Anyway, I, I couldn't handle that. After weeks of it, I packed my shit up and figured I could make for Grands alone and try to find my family. I slipped out of there. I couldn't live like that. So nobody got down with the daughter then? No, they didn't. What would you give her? Strong six? Just tell me something about her. How was the rack? Give me a little something. Just a taste. Russ, I'm doing you a service here. I gotta get my beak wet. I put it right in here. Why you gotta be like that? Like what? Always talking about women like that. Women? <laughs> okay, well let, let me see if I can answer your question. Because, because the hunger a man's got for a woman that's all we got left now. No laws, no jobs, ain't nothing that make us men. But they ain't eating all the women yet. Whatever. Let's try this again. All right, maybe someone who wasn't so near and dear to your heart then. What the fuck? Come on, scale of one to ten. What do you think? Ah, slamming before she was done, right? Think. Here, get a look. Fuck! Like a nine, right? Get off me! Maybe you got high standards. Well, if you say five, I'm gonna flip. Fuck. Tell me, Russ. Ten, okay? Ten, you psycho! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Damn it. You guys are getting crazy. <laughs> Would you load that? Bullets in the glove bag. So the crew he was in was with Steve, so it must have been the last guy that uh, ran Shell's group, I think. This must be before Let's that group got here. look for some supplies in here. See if we can fill up while we're at it. Don't be mad. Fine, be mad. Just stop being a pussy. Alright. Oh shit! Go! Get- <laughs> Russ! Get the fuck down, man! You don't want to be there! Get to the truck! I'll cover you! I'll get fucking shot! No, you won't! I'll cover you! This guy can't hit the broadside of a barn! Just move your ass! For real, nice cover. Good hustle. What happened to I'll cover you? Look how good you did. I don't know, man. Fuck, we're screwed. You haven't been shot at in three months? Come on, kid, look at me. This is no big deal. 
We got this, okay? Okay. First, we're gonna figure out exactly where this asshole is. Just get a quick glance. Where do I have to look? Come on, just a peek. Stay down! See? Easy. Now we know where he is, we can fucking get him. All right. Yeah. That's the spirit. Let's push this truck for cover. Okay. It's in neutral. Just keep your head down. Shit! Just keep pushing! Shit! Push! Yeah, I can uh, end of the, the road. tires pretty well. What now? We're gonna get around the side of the building. We gotta go from cover to cover. Seriously, this time. I'm not fucking around. You gonna cover me? If we get to that car, we'll be out of the line of fire. Here. You can cover me first. I'm not fucking around. You cover me, then I'll cover you. Or if you wanna go first, that's fine too. You go first. Oh, die. Shoot at the window and keep that fucker's head down till I get where I'm going. Then throw me the gun and I'll do the same. Ready? Yeah. You ready, Russ? Cover my ass now. Remember, don't stop shooting. Fire! Ah, come on! Well, that wasn't clear. Remember, Redo. don't stop shooting. Fire! All right, throw me the gun and I'll cover you. Go! Good job! Now what? Get over there and we should be good. Go! Thanks. We're not done yet. Can't get a read on this guy. Let's see if we can get in around back. Sneak up on this asshole. Follow me. Man, what are we doing? Well, we gotta get in there. Fucker shot at us. Russell, relax, man. When this is over, we're gonna take what we can, head on down to your grams, and have a big old home-cooked meal, all right? Come on. Watch out for that. What's the problem? Is it still dangerous? Probably. Just get over here. That's that cop from the first one, too. Oh, who shot him. Feel like a big man now? I think I saw a guy. No shit. Grab him. I'll cover you. 
You want to sneak up? Or just jump out and grab it. Your call. You monsters! Whoa, Gramps! I told you not to come back here! Think you could just leave your mask at home? And now you're with this fucking spook! First off, watch the fucking racism. This is my boy. Secondly, I don't fucking know you. We were just passing by like anyone else. Bullshit! You came back to finish us off and take all our food! You've lost your goddamn marbles. She's dying, and now she can see your face. Mask? What's he talking about? Fuck if I know. He's crazy. Have you been here before? Russell, don't you start. You tried to kill us for no goddamn reason. If anything, we should take you out for that. Please, just get the fuck out of here. Please, leave us alone. What do you say, Russ? Should we just kill these folks and take all their stuff? I'm done. That's it, man. I don't know you, and I don't want to. Can't you take a fucking joke? Fuck your jokes. I'm sorry. I'm out. Come on. Can we still be friends? No. I think that old lady's the one that ate the puppy. That one was kind of short too, kind of like Wyatt's. I guess the only person left now is Bonnie's and we will check that out in the next episode. Remember, if you like 